the myth of the griffin a journey through ancient lore in the vast tapestry of mythological creatures few are as awe-inspiring and enigmatic as the griffin with the body of a lion and the head and wings of an eagle the griffin has captured the imagination of cultures across the globe for thousands of years this majestic creature blending the king of beasts with the king of birds represents a fascinating intersection of mythology symbolism and history but what is the true story behind the griffin where did this mythological creature originate and how has it evolved over time in this video we will delve deep into the myth of the griffin exploring its origins significance and enduring legacy origins of the griffin myth the myth of the griffin is ancient with roots stretching back to the early civilizations of the near east and the mediterranean the earliest depictions of griffin-like creatures can be found in the art and artifacts of the ancient sumerians egyptians and persians dating as far back as 3300 bce these early representations often found on pottery seals and sculptures suggest that the griffin was a symbol of divine power and protection however it was in ancient greece that the griffin truly began to take shape as a distinct mythological entity the greeks believed that griffins inhabited the distant lands of scythia a region that lay beyond the known world to the northeast according to greek mythology these creatures were fierce guardians of vast hordes of gold which were hidden in the desolate mountains and deserts of scythia the connection between griffins and gold is a recurring theme in ancient myths likely inspired by the gold-rich regions of Central Asia where fossilized remains of prehistoric creatures, such as the Protoceratops, were sometimes mistaken for griffin bones. Greek writers such as Herodotus, Aeschylus, and Pliny the Elder all mention the griffin in their works, describing it as a formidable creature that fiercely protected its treasures from any who dared to approach. Herodotus, in particular, relayed stories he had heard from the Scythians about the griffins and their role as guardians of gold. This association with wealth and protection likely contributed to the griffin's enduring presence in Western mythology. Symbolism and Significance The griffin's hybrid nature, combining the strength and courage of the lion with the keen sight and majesty of the eagle, made it a powerful symbol in various cultures. In ancient Greece and Rome, the griffin was often associated with divine power, particularly in relation to the gods Apollo and Nemesis. Apollo, the god of the sun and light, was often depicted riding a chariot drawn by griffins, emphasizing the creature's connection to the heavens and its role as a guardian of divine mysteries. In medieval Europe, the griffin continued to be a potent symbol, often appearing in heraldry and religious art. During this time, the griffin was associated with themes of vigilance, loyalty, and the duality of nature. Its depiction in medieval manuscripts and cathedrals often served as a reminder of the balance between the spiritual and earthly realms. Moreover, the griffin's ability to navigate both the skies and the earth made it an emblem of the dual nature of Christ, who was believed to unite the divine and human in a single being. This religious symbolism solidified the griffin's place in Christian iconography, where it was often used to represent the resurrection and the vigilant protection of the faithful. The Griffin in Art and Culture Throughout history, the griffin has been a popular subject in art, appearing in various forms across different cultures. In ancient Greece, griffins were commonly depicted in vase paintings, sculptures, and architectural reliefs. These images often showed the griffin in a dynamic pose, with its wings spread wide and its beak open in a fierce cry, capturing the creature's power and ferocity. In medieval Europe, the griffin became a staple of heraldic art, appearing on the coats of arms of noble families and city-states. Its image was also used in decorative arts, such as tapestries, illuminated manuscripts, and sculptures. The griffin's majestic appearance made it an ideal symbol for expressing themes of strength, courage, and protection. One of the most famous depictions of the griffin in medieval art is found in the bestiary, a type of illuminated manuscript that described various animals, both real and mythical, along with their symbolic meanings. The griffin was often portrayed as a guardian of treasures and a symbol of divine power, reflecting its ancient associations with wealth and protection. In more recent times, the griffin has continued to inspire artists and writers, appearing in works of fantasy literature, film, and video games. From J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle-earth to J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series, 
the griffin remains a popular figure in modern storytelling, embodying themes of heroism, mystery, and the eternal struggle between good and evil. The Legacy of the Griffin The enduring legacy of the griffin is a testament to the power of myth and the human imagination. Over thousands of years, the griffin has evolved from a symbol of divine power in ancient civilizations to a versatile figure in modern fantasy literature and popular culture. Its hybrid form, a blend of the lion and the eagle, speaks to a universal fascination with the idea of combining the best qualities of different creatures to create something greater than the sum of its parts. This concept of hybridity, embodied by the griffin, resonates with the human desire to transcend boundaries and explore new possibilities. In addition, the griffin's role as a guardian of treasures and a protector of the divine has given it a lasting significance in various cultural and religious contexts. Whether as a symbol of vigilance, a representation of the dual nature of Christ, or a figure of fantasy and adventure, the griffin continues to captivate and inspire people of all ages. The myth of the griffin is a rich and multifaceted story that spans millennia and crosses cultural boundaries. From its origins in the ancient Near East to its place in modern fantasy literature, the griffin has evolved into a powerful symbol of strength, protection, and the eternal quest for knowledge and treasure. As we explore the myth of the griffin, we gain insight into the ways in which humans have used mythology to make sense of the world around them, to express their deepest fears and desires, and to connect with the divine. The griffin, with its majestic form and powerful symbolism, remains one of the most enduring and fascinating creatures in the pantheon of myth. So, the next time you come across a depiction of a griffin, whether in an ancient artifact, a medieval manuscript, or a modern fantasy novel, remember the long and storied history that lies behind this legendary creature. The griffin is more than just a myth. It is a symbol of the human imagination, a bridge between the earthly and the divine, and a guardian of the mysteries that lie at the heart of our existence. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.